Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So today I have got a haul and that's all I can say. So I wasn't planning on doing this video but I have been buying some new clothes recently like particularly summer stuff because I didn't buy anything last summer. Obviously we were in lockdown and none of the shops were really open anyway so the last time I bought any summer clothes was two years ago when we went to Florida it's also my birthday very very soon so I've chosen a few new bits for that as well and I needed just summery bits so I've got some stuff from Primark I've got TK Maxx I've got some new look I've also got some charity shop items I did quite well in there the other day I've got a few homey bits as well that I want to show you so grab yourself a drink get comfortable and I will attempt to take you through as quick as I can all the bits that I've been buying recently so I'm going to start off with the pile that's on my lap and that is from Primark and I believe this is mostly pajamas so if the angle suddenly changed it's because I realized I was way too close to the camera to be filming a haul so the first thing I got was this little pajama top it's just a stretchy floral print top and it's got the adjustable straps this was five pound and i got a large although i'm thinking maybe i should have gone for medium i'm normally a size 12 to 14 but in primark sometimes you can be a size 20 sometimes you can be a size 8 um, but in pajamas i wanted them baggy because no one wants to sleep in tight pajamas so i went for the large and i can do the straps up so i bought the top which was five pound and then i also got the matching bottoms that go with that which are just these little tie shorts they've got this really really nice red poppy pattern all over them and i just thought that was really cute the shorts were also five pound so yeah ten pound for a little pajama set and they've got and they're like the frilly bottoms so another set of pajamas this actually came as a set and it's this lovely gray ribbed vest top again i went for a large so it was nice and comfortable it's stretchy material and i've got the gray top and then to go with that i've just got the gray shorts and they've just got like this kind of ribbed detailing on nice and stretchy and comfortable and i just think it's quite a nice color so a little short pair i'm being optimistic with the weather aren't i really I also got a pair of <laughs> these ones, these bottoms, so they're quite leery really, <laughs> I just thought they were really nice, I thought they'd look nice with a tan, I thought I could always pop on a little vest top with these, there wasn't a top that went with them and I think it would be a bit much really, so I got these as well and these were actually, these were actually cheaper, I believe these ones were £3.50, Primark have got so many pyjamas at the moment so I just thought they were quite nice with a little black vest top or a little white vest top with them. So that is it for the Primark pyjamas. The other thing I got in while I was in Primark, I can get it out without dropping everything, I got this big three wick candle and it says retreat, blush jasmine contains essential oils. This was £5 and it goes perfectly in my bathroom. I have recently redone my whole bathroom and there is a video coming on that, like a before and after video. The reason I haven't filmed it yet is because there is one part of it that is for my birthday that I'm waiting for. Sounds a bit odd, but yeah, I know it's coming because Amazon don't always package stuff discreetly. So when something arrived this big that said bath caddy on the side, I kind of knew what it was gonna be, but I am gonna wait till my birthday to open it. So once I've got that and can dress that prettily with all my candles and bits, I will show you that video and finish it off. But yeah, I'm gonna wait and act really, really surprised. But yeah, I got this because we've got lots of browns and these kind of tones in the bathroom now and it smells amazing so next up i'm going to show you my charity shop finds or thrift shop if you are in the us the first thing i got was this jumper wow that's coming up really orange on camera it is very vibrant but not quite that vibrant it is this lovely soft jumper it's got gold buttons on the shoulder and it's also a cold shoulder top so your little shoulder pokes out the side there and this is from George at Asda, but when my mum felt it, she was like, oh, I think that's cashmere. And I was like, no, mum, it's Asda, it's not cashmere. But it is so soft. I absolutely love this colour. I mean, yeah, it isn't as bright, but it is bright. And I just love, I love cold shoulder tops, so I thought I'd have one on then. But I really like the cold shoulder tops. This was a £3.50, and I think just tucked into blue jeans, because it's quite long. I thought that'd look really nice. The next thing I got was an Under Armour workout top, so for running and working out obviously. 
This was also, no, this was £2.50. And it is just this mint, I can hold on to it in a minute. It is just this mint green Under Armour top and it's racer back. And that's basically all there is to say about it. It's a workout top. It's the wicking like material that takes like all the moisture away from your body. And Under Armour tops can be quite expensive. So I thought £2.50 was quite good for that. So I got that as well. So also from the charity shop, I got this inside out because I have worn this already. I got this black t-shirt. This is from Zara, which I absolutely love Zara clothes and I do see a lot of them in the charity shops. So I got two things from Zara um, and it's just a black t-shirt, but it's got this sort of lace detailing on the arms so you've just got a little bit of nice lace and it's also got the lace detailing on the bottom as well so it looks really nice with like very very light jeans or maybe white jeans or white trousers a little pair of like boat shorts would be nice with this um it's really really comfortable very very thin and yeah i just love it it was and it says it's from zara w and b collection um, yeah, and I also paid £2.50 for this, so very, very impressed with that. Next up from the charity shop, I'm not sure, where is this from? Ellen Tracy. This is very, very similar to what I've actually already got on, which is funny. <laughs> I've just realised it's inside out because they've been on the washing line. Um, but yeah, so the, sh <laughs> the shirt I've got on today is like an open-necked, like roll up sleeve and this one rolls up and it's got like little fastenings on the sleeves there but i got another one pretty much the same so it's just this little black shirt it's a different material to the one i've got on this is very stretchy this material it's got little gold buttons on the pockets and it's got gold buttons on the arm so you can turn your sleeves up or you can let them down but the sleeves are quite short on it anyway but it just gives that really nice detail of the sleeve being held up if you see what I mean and again this was £2.50 I'm not sure who Ellen Tracy is but I absolutely love this I've got some quite short denim shorts and some really nice like sandals with like my crossbody Michael Kors and like like a little gold necklace or something like this one and yeah I just think that's really nice and that was really good for £2.50 and the last thing I got which actually I've got enough, from the charity shop I think I think that was it yeah um was this shirt which is also from Zara I did wear this in one of my videos recently and it's just got little buttons and it's just got a little bit of folded over button detail on the shoulders mm -hmm. And you can turn the sleeves up. It's just got, it's got really nice pleat details all around the collar and on the sleeves. It's really, really fine pinstriped. So it almost looks like a light denim colour or a very light blue. But there is in fact, I don't know if you can see it on camera. There is in fact a really, really light pinstripe to it. Um, this just looks really nice. Again, with like maybe a pair of black jeans, a white t-shirt tucked in, and then this left open over the top, or you could wear it done up and sort of pulled out a little bit, like tucked in and pulled out. But I just really like it. And this was a three pound, so another Zara bargain. So that was my charity shop finds. So next up, I got a few pieces in Matalan. And the first thing was this t-shirt that says believe in yourself. It's got rolled up arms. I love these t-shirts that have got the rolled up arms. Now if I buy a t-shirt, I try and get one like that. This I originally bought to work out in because it's just nice and kind of baggy. But then when I wore it tucked into my jeans the other day with my white trainers, like my white Adidas, um, I really liked it. I thought it looked really nice. And yeah, it was £4, so that's that one. I've got That one's got no tag on it because, like I said, I have already worn it. I got a V-neck, just black vest top. This was a £4. And I thought well, this would be good for, like, bed. Or you don't often see V-necks, like, front and back on a vest top but I thought for four pound it was just something a bit different I got a pair of very very pink shorts <laughs> these are like the pinkest shorts you can get um I got these in a 14 again I thought these might be nice there these might be nice to wear in bed or just for lounging in and just sort of sitting around so I got those these were four pound so also from Matalan I got a grey vest top as well this one's got a pocket on it like I said just something to throw on this would go really nicely with the pink shorts and my trainers 
and just lounge around not that we do much lounging but this was five pound and it's just got a pocket so that's <laughs> something a bit different i got another t-shirt with the rolled up arms it's kind of like pinned like that so they don't come down um just another white one to wear tucked in i wanted it oversized and it tucked into jeans or denim shorts and with some sandals and this one says what does it say always love and this was six pound and it's just i just think that will look nice i could also wear it with my leather jacket and maybe my like dr martins or something so another white t-shirt so another pair of shorts like i said i'm optimistic that the sun's gonna stick around um are these little crepey kind of shorts with the frill detail at the bottom these are really really stretchy and i love this blue color and they've got quite a wide waistband as well these were eight pound fifty which i thought was really good so i got them in the blue and i also got a pair in the black but I'm just thinking I got a pair very similar for Marks and Spencers as well. So I'm done for shorts like this year completely. Got a pair in the black as well, £8.50. Just stretchy little shorts, but they look quite nice with the tie detail on the front. I got another pair of the lounge shorts in a navy blue. And I thought, they're not that light blue that they're coming up on the camera. They look purple on camera. Um, there's another pair of those for £4. So moving on to TK Maxx and Home Sense got a t-shirt for Steve it is just a Gantt New Haven t-shirt and it is a very nice blue color this was £16.99 should have been £40 and when we were first going out together I bought him Gantt aftershave it was one of the first aftershaves I got him so that's kind of nostalgic isn't it so I bought that for him and then for Oscar I got a pair of pyjamas and these are just, they've got like little yellow footballs all the way down them. They're cuffed at the bottom and the t-shirt part says, I don't know what it says, sleep, team sleep. And these were in the sale. These are by Thread Boys and I have had a couple of t-shirts from there before by them. Um, and these were £7 for the set. So I thought they're quite nice for him. <laughs> little, little funny story behind this jumper. So I went in to TK Maxx looking for a white jumper to wear with some sports leggings I bought. Um, and I found this amazing Ralph Lauren jumper that I absolutely loved. And it said size 14, so I bought it. And when I got it home, I put it on and I was like, okay, this is a really small 14. I was like, help, get me out of it. It was okay, but if I'd sat down, that would have been it. There would have been like jumper or split like the Incredible Hulk. Um, when I finally managed to get it off and check the label, it actually was size 14, as in a teenage boy 14, um, not a woman with a chest 14. So I was like, oh, stupid woman. Um, I'll have to take it back. So I went back and thought I was going to have to get a refund but I thought I'll just have a look in the kids section and they had an age 18 one so I have actually bought the same jumper it is Ralph Lauren polo and it, this is basically all it is it's just a white hooded jumper but because this is age 18 years it actually fits nicely it's a little bit long on the arms because 18 year old boys have longer arms than I do but the rest of the body fits fine and it's very very soft and snuggly and it's quiet and it will look lovely with my new Nike like workout leggings and this was really good this should have been £79 and it was £24.99 so I got that again to go with my like black leggings and things I wanted another jumper and I saw this let's get the tag out of the way DKNY one and this is just a round neck and there's no hood and it's a soft material and I just love the DKNY it's like sparkly and I love it and it looks really really nice on I got this in a small um, because I wanted it quite fitted and it does fit lovely and this was $29.99 and I just love it it looks really nice on and it goes really nicely with my leggings um what else did i get in home sense ah yeah tk maxx or home sense ours is in the same building and you can't go in there without buying candles can you so i've got this amazing salted mango one which 
it's just beautiful this is like if this could be a perfume i would wear it and it says bright and juicy and sweet sweet mango and passion fruit gently salted with ozone and amber and how much oh, taken the price 7.99 because they were both 7.99 and the price is still on the other one so i got that that's a double wick one and that goes quite nicely in my bathroom then i also got this one i love sand and fog it's a make that is often found in home scents are we gonna focus there we go this sand and fog but what i like about them is that they always make them really really pretty so this one's got pineapples on it was seven pound 99 and this is vanilla and pineapple oh, it's just like i'm not gonna say it because if you watch my videos you know what i'm gonna say but it does smell like summer it really does so i got that as well and that was everything I got in TK Maxx. No, I didn't. I lie. I lie. I also bought this mascara, which is a Maybelline Volume Express Mascara Pumped Up Colossal. And it's just one of your normal Maybelline mascaras. But what I thought was good, that it was £3.99. Um, I think in like Super Dragon places, these were about 7 or 8 99 So I thought that was quite good got that in there the other kind of beautyish items i'll just show you i got some of the cerave face like facial moisturizer this one has an included spf so it's like spf 25 and it's just fragrance free normal to dry skin face moisturizing and i got this on amazon this little tube should be 15 15 how much did i get it for seven yeah so it was over half price less than half price not over half price less than half price um i got it with amazon prime and i just really wanted an spf because i walk like the dogs twice a day and i'm out in the sun a lot and i often put on well i put on moisturizer every single morning but i thought i might as well get one that has an spf factor because it's better for you so yeah this is supposed to be very very good all the cerave products are supposed to be brilliant and they're well raved about so I got that and like I said, it should be 15 pound. You get 52 mil or 50 grams. And on Amazon, they were doing a really good deal on all the CeraVe products and they were half price. So I paid just seven pound or seven pound 50 for that one. And I really like it. Went in super jug. I thought I'd show you these quickly as well. Um, and I got two of the Radox. I've never, sh never tried these before. These are shower mousses. So instead of being like a shower gel, it's a mousse. Um, and it says find your sunshine this one is brazilian passion fruit and jasmine and this one says feel vivacious feel feel vivacious cranberry and apple blossom and i think these were two pound 99 buy one get one free so i haven't smelled either of them yet but they look nice and i love using a mousse in the shower because it's much better to shave with so i've got those right on to Oh, I've got a couple more candles. I might as well show you those now. So I got two of these. Um, this is the Aroma True Aroma Coconut Bay Luxury Scented Candle. If you are ever in the range and you like coconut, I highly recommend these. These smell exactly like... I keep getting interrupted today. This video is going to be so choppy. But anyway, this candle is exactly the same as the one we got in Florida in Walmart. Um, we got like a mini coconut one. And it's, it is identical it just smells the same it's got a hint of something else to it but you know when you go on holiday and then you smell a candle and then when you come home every time you smell that scent so anyway yeah these are 3.99 i think for this size and does it say how long they burn for mm, some do and some don't and this one doesn't but it does make the house smell very very nice so i've got two of those in there and then to go in my bathroom yeah my, my bathroom does look like it's got a lot of candles in um i just thought this was nice this one is amber wood this smells like a bit like a men's aftershave but this was 2.99 i believe and it just it drives me mad that the sticker is on wonky i must admit that is a little bit like annoying but it just looks nice on my little shelf so like i said i will be showing you my bathroom <laughs> at some point um so that is everything i've got in home home sense yes where did I get that from? This is what I wanted to show you as well. <laughs> so the other thing I just wanted to point out was this little basket that I got in at b and It's only £3. The plant in it is an aloe vera. This is from my bathroom. It needs to go back in there. But I bought it in just to show you the pot. But yeah, the little, because I've been looking for a wicker pot everywhere and couldn't find one because I wanted one like this one. 
Um, but yeah, that was three pound in B and M, and it's got little black pom poms around it, and I've just plopped my palm in it. But if you are looking for wicker pots, the point of me rambling was that in Dunelm they do a set of three wicker pots. Like so, if you want a wicker plant pot. So yeah, that is my new aloe vera and my wicker plant pot. So I thought I'd mention that as well. Right, on to I've got a pair of sports leggings or sports leggings. I don't know. These are Nike Just Do It leggings, and it says it massively just do it down the one leg. And they are tight fit, high rise, full length, and they are lovely. If you like wide like waistbands and like nice flattering fitting leggings, I highly recommend these. These were $22.99 and I got them for $18.99 and they were from Sports Direct. So yeah, I'm gonna get another pair without just do it right down one leg but i thought these would look really nice with my ralph lauren hoodie or my dkny top i've also got another white hoodie that they could go with if you watch my food hauls my asda one was it asda why did i say asda sainsbury's my sainsbury's one recently i bought this massively oversized white hoodie because it was in the sale and i hadn't bought the other two so i'm good for white right now but this was six pound and this is just plain quite thin and it's got the nice little tassel bits for the hood so I just really like oversized hoodies and this one is big enough and thin enough you could tuck it in so if you wanted to wear say jeans and a cap and like some trainers or something because I always roll like roll my jeans up as well um, and all I like, have them cropped and it would just look really nice tucked in with a little baseball cap so I've got that I went into new look and bought a jumps jumpsuit or is it are you a jumpsuit or a play suit it's a play suit because it's short i always get it around the wrong way i always get it around the wrong way so it is this little let me do the button up the short haul has turned into a long haul so it is this little short jumpsuit it's got these really nice tortoiseshell buttons down the front and then it's just got a little belt detail and it's a short one and then at the bottom it's got a really nice frill and this was 15 99 it fits very very nicely on it's got adjustable straps which I like and I thought this would look nice I'm very very tempted to try this with bare legs and my Dr Martin boots because it's just a look I've seen on people and I love it so I don't know if I'll get away with it or not it's like cinched in at the waist but then you've also got the belt so you can pull it even tighter it makes it a bit more flattering the only thing is when you put it on it looks like it just lends itself to pockets if that makes sense it looks like you should be able to put your hand in the pocket it's got that extra material and everything very sad to find out there weren't any so that is that that was 15.99 from new look i went in at marks and spencer's I've been all at this, I wasn't all in one day by the way, this has been over like the last few weeks or so and yeah, I haven't just gone shop, 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 it's different places, some bits like, uh, yeah, it, it wasn't all done in one day, I have gone to different shops on different days but I thought I'd keep it all together and then do one big haul, I don't know why I'm keeping that candle there, it's very uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, in Marks and Spencers I got another pair of shorts, I don't know if I'm keeping these they're really really like flowy they almost look like a skirt but they're not um they've got a really wide waistband and they're a very light material and they've got this really nice little kind of i don't know flowery print on it i'm not really a print person i'm much more like blacks and whites and things as you can probably tell um but these were 12 pound 50 and they are very very comfortable but i i just don't know if it's me i'm not I'm not a printy person, so I got a pair in black. But then I realised I got a pair in black from Matalan, which are very, very similar. So again, they are the wide waistband shorts and they're like a crepe, like really, really thin. These ones have got a nice, pretty, like little bobbly detail at the bottom. These are £12.50 as well. These ones I do like and these would look really nice with a white shirt and a pair of like sandals. Um, and they've got a nice tassel -y bit at the front as well. So, yeah, I've got two pairs. I've got a lot of black, haven't I? Um, where did I get this one? I've cut the thing out. Another white t-shirt. This is Primark. 
again it's another one of the rolled up sleeve ones this was four pound in there and it just says never regret anything that made you smile i've actually got that written on my pegboard in the kitchen this i got in a medium because primark is just mad sometimes with sizing um again just to tuck into shorts or maybe those black shorts you could tuck it in with a little pair of sandals or some jeans or something so i got that one and I think, I feel like I've forgotten something, but last but not least, this was ordered from Amazon. And it's funny because I got the, I ordered this and then saw the charity shop one, but it is just an Under Armour white t-shirt, V-neck, and it's got Under Armour on the back. And I got this in extra large because I wanted it to run in and I have run in it and it is amazing. Um, you don't get like the sweat there so you get like the really cool nice like air to your chest but your shoulders are covered which is quite nice it's long enough so it covers your your jiggly bits as well and it just dries instantly so it is very very nice I really recommend it and I think it was about 10 10 or it was either 10 or 13 I ordered two one was 10 one was 13 but the other one was absolutely huge even though I wanted big it was like big 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 um, but yeah, have a look on Amazon for Under Armour workout gear if you need any. Just a really nice big light t-shirt. And I think that is everything. So I hope you have enjoyed this very, very random haul. I'm not sure what I'm keeping and what I'm not. Um, I, I think these are going back. This is the, a definite, I'm pretty sure I've made my mind up on that. But anyway, if you are not subscribed, please make sure you go and do so for more hauls and recipes and cooking videos, all that kind of thing, family vlogs. And leave me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this. Hope I haven't rambled too much. And I will be back really soon with another video. Take care, guys. Mm -hmm.